Hi again guys, welcome back to another unboxing. This one's something rather special. This is a custom made puzzle as you've probably seen in the title and I'm very very excited for, about this. I've waited for it for quite some time now. Um, for one reason or another it's took quite some months to arrive here. I'll, don't get me wrong, a large portion of that is my own fault because I disappeared for a couple of months and it was unable to be sent to me in that time. But I'm very, very excited about this puzzle. I had the chance to play with one briefly. Kevin, I'm sure you'll watch this, so thank you once again for that, as well as <laughs> the last thing I thanked you for. Um, he's bought one of these from the same person. And... Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Doesn't look a lot right now, does it? Just a Sheng Xiao 5x5 box. But then we open it up. And we've got this little beastie inside. You can see that's a 5x5x3. Five by five by this is a custom made, handmade product made by Hunter Pauschuk from I've been in contact with him through the Twisted Puzzles forums. He makes a number of um, hand modded puzzles like this. Um, and yeah, that is fabulous. That looks great. It's um turns very nicely so far. You can see, I love the. Um, the way it looks on the outside there actually, the, the top, the white and yellow faces, the way it's been shaved down right to the core, you can actually see parts of the core through the face there, I actually kind of like that. It's a, uh, yeah, it looks excellent. Um, it turns really nicely as you'd expect a Sheng Xiao 5x5 five five to do. Um, I don't think it will have changed much in the way of the workings of the parts, he might have done some tension on it, I don't know whether that is the case or not. Um, just in case you're not aware, what this is made from, obviously a Sheng Xiao 5x5x5 five by five by five. and basically he's um, turned the top two layers here into one layer by gluing them together and then moulding each layer, pillowing it the way it is to make it as flat as possible. That's the whole idea, bringing it down as short as you possibly can from its original point and it makes it more of a cuboid kind of shape. Actually, what I will do is I'll just grab my Sheng Xiao 5x5 and put it next to it so we can compare. Alright then, so here's my Sheng Xiao 5x5. You can see if I put them side by side with each other that the... Oh, I've got a sticker peeling. That's no good. Oh, don't like that. Oh well. Um, you can see that the faces are the same size with the 5x5 five five. and if I put them level with each other you can see how much is actually shaved off the top and bottom layers he's taking it as far back to the core as he possibly can without actually stopping it from working of course and then he's filled and shaped these faces sanded them down and stickered them and that's the finished product so yeah very excited to have a go at solving this because it's um it's got floppy parity problems, well possibilities, not, not problems, um, which you don't get on many any of the mass-produced cuboids that we've got so far. So that's going to be something that's interesting that's added to the solve of the puzzle right there. And just like any other cuboid, it's always interesting to see what shape-shifting properties they have. Um, this one, as you probably already figured out, does shape-shift because it's a 5x5x3, five by five by which means the layers do line up when you turn one face 90 degrees like so and then you can shape the shift the puzzle like any other shape shifting cuboid and because it's odd numbers in every direction it will shape shift in every direction so it's quite interesting actually because you can, you can see the innards that you wouldn't normally see on the 5x5x5 five by five by five, so that's quite cool and again you can see how much has been shaved off because obviously normally on a normal turn on the 5x5x5 five by five by five, everything is still covered in that state but on this you can see all the internal parts that are exposed by having the top and bottom faces shaved down as they have been so yeah I'm very happy with this, this is excellent quality um, I've waited quite a long time as I said so I've been very much looking forward to this so I'm very much looking forward to scrambling it and playing with it and this being my first real handmade puzzle. I have got a couple of others, the um, Tony Fisher Siamese cubes um, but they're really just two cubes stuck together, they don't really qualify as hand modded so much as the way these do I don't think. So yeah I'm very much looking forward to this, playing with this as I said um, 
I think I will do what I've been doing all the time of, of late and scrambling it on camera for you. And obviously it's going to be like all other cuboids. You want to scramble it without shape shifting to begin with. Because um, once you do shape shift, you start bandaging in some layers and you start being unable to scramble them properly. I'll just show you what I mean there. If I turn this side 90 degrees and then turn the top layer, I can't actually separate these this top layer of pieces here from the ones below them anymore so you always need to make sure you scramble cuboids in this way otherwise you're not getting a proper scramble and so yeah, I think we're about there on that now or maybe not but a few more turns needed I'm just spotted the whole load there is still not scrambled from each other yeah this turns nicely it's cool I like that. I wonder if you can see actually the way he's filled the pieces. Yeah, you, you can see on this edge piece here on the where it's sticking up from the rest. You can see where he's had to fill in and curve the pieces there. That's quite cool. They're filled with like a um, milliput or something very similar, and some kind of epoxy putty, and then all sanded down to shape. Okay then, I'm going to call that scrambled in cuboid style, so we'll start some shape shifting. Yeah, that looks cool, I like that. <laughs> shape shifted puzzles always look really good as far as I'm concerned. They, um, it just seems to add something. I mean, like I said, this is basically still just a, a Sheng Shao 5x5 five five in its workings in the core. But it just looks so much more than that once they're shape shifted. It's, it's very cool. I like that. You can see now this is all bandaged. I can't separate, even though that layer looks complete there, I can't separate that from the layer below it now that it's shape shifted. So basically, it's now turned into a 3x3 three three cube. So that's the, be the way I presume I'm going to have to tackle it. Solve it like a regular 3x3 three three Rubik cube to get it back into its cuboid shape and then solve it using cuboid algorithms from that point onwards. That'll be my initial way I'm going to try and tackle it. Um, hopefully it's right. If it's not, I'll try something else. Alright then, so as you can see, that's it in its scrambled state. That was quite cool. I like that a lot. Okay then guys, that's it for this video. Um, I'll put a link in the description, I think, to uh, where you can contact Hunter. If I, I bet, probably better ask his permission before I do so, but I'll see if he wants you to do that in case you want to get one of these for yourself. Um, he also makes other um, handmade uh, mods like this, so he's, he's got a whole load that he can make for you if you're interested in this kind of thing, just like Trafum does. And yes, yeah, excellent quality, and I'd highly recommend it. Okay then guys, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care now. Bye.